In 2021, Ajay Kotra wrote a blog post titled The Case for Aligning Narrowly Superhuman Models. She outlined the idea of sandwiching, a way of evaluating scalable oversight techniques relative to superhuman AIs, even before such AIs are built. She noticed that, compared to average humans, current AIs show superhuman abilities on some narrowly defined tasks. In particular, recently we've started building models that are getting better than some humans on abstract, multidimensional, real-world tasks that she calls fuzzy tasks. These are tasks that don't have easily generated training signals or are hard to evaluate, like picking good stocks or giving good medical advice. Importantly, these models are not superhuman at these tasks in the same way that AlphaGo is superhuman at playing Go. AlphaGo plays Go better than any human, while GPT-4 is only capable of giving better advice or writing better stories than some humans. We still have domain-specific experts that can outperform GPT-4. Importantly, the fact that such narrowly superhuman models exist means that we can take advantage of them to get some practice in dealing with superhuman AI that might help with more general systems. Ajay Kotra suggested carrying out case studies on the various proposed scalable oversight techniques using one of these models alongside humans that are less capable than the AI on some fuzzy task. This allows us to see how well different scalable oversight techniques handle situations where the AI model is more capable than the humans trying to align it. The aim here is to simulate the situation we expect to find ourselves in in the future. So we have two groups of humans, experts and non-experts. The experts are standing in for ground truth. They have a good understanding of the relevant domain, so they can tell us what the answers actually are. The non-experts are stand-ins for a future version of humanity. They don't have a full understanding of the domain, but they do have various tools and techniques at their disposal. They need to use whatever tools they have to somehow oversee the outputs of an untrustworthy but superhuman system. Based on whether these oversight techniques succeed or fail in these case studies, we can start iteratively tweaking them, making them stronger over time. Using this process, we may be able to develop techniques that actually work when AIs will be better than the best humans at every task.